In this video, we will understand arithmetic progression. What is arithmetic progression? It is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term. Let's take a simple example. Here you can see that every term is obtained by adding 2 in previous term like 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8 and 8 plus 2 is 10 and so on. Let's understand it with a daily life example. Assume your father gives you a sufficient pocket money. You save 50 rupees per month. What will be the saving after every month if you save for 8 months? It will be like this. 50, then 50 plus 50, 100, then 100 plus 50, 150 and so on. As we got this series by adding a fixed number 50 to the preceding term. So this is a arithmetic progression. The fixed number is known as common difference of AP. Here common difference is d equal to 50. Note down that in arithmetic progression common difference d can be positive, negative or zero. Let's see it by some examples. So in first example we can see that d is equal to plus 2. And let's proceed to the second example of AP. Here we can see that d is equal to minus 0 0.3. Let's see one more example of AP. Here d equal to 0. Now let's proceed to a question. We want to find out the 15th term of AP 1633 5066. How will you solve? If we go through from very basic method, we know that first term a equal to 16, difference d equal to 17. Therefore, fifth term will be 4 term plus common difference that is equal to 84. Sixth term will be 104 like this so is it a good way of solving don't you think it's taking too much time let's derive a general formula for find out the nth term of any ap first writing the every term in form of a and d did you get any pattern now can you tell the nth term okay let's more simplify it nth term of any ap is a n equal to a plus n minus 1 d where a is first term n is nth term d is common difference now let's find the 15 term using this formula. So here a equal to 16, d is 17 and n equal to 15. That's why a 15 equal to 254. Like this we can find out the n term of any AP. Here are some notation used in AP. Like first term is represented by a, last term by l, common difference by d, total number of terms by n, n term by a n. For example second term will be a2, third term will be a3 and so on. And sum of first n terms by s n. Let's understand it with an example. Here we can see that difference between every two conjugative terms is 5. That's why this, this is an arithmetic progression where common difference d equal to 5, first term a equal to 10, last term l equal to 35, total number of terms n equal to 6. We can also represent second term a2 equal to 15, a3 third term equal to 20, a4 fourth term equal to 25 and so on. Now let's proceed to the sum of first n terms of AP. For example, your father gives you pocket money every month starting from 100 rupees and increases by 50 rupees each month. Like first month 100, the next month he gives 150, next 200 and so on. If anyone asks what will be the total money after 12 months will you have, how will you do? As you can see that common difference is same between each conjugative term so this is a arithmetic progression. Total money after 12 months will be 100 plus 150 plus 200 plus so on which will be lengthy to add each term individually. So let's formula for it. Let's assume a general AP a, a plus D A plus 2D A plus 3D and last term A plus N minus 1D. Sum will be S equal to sum of all these terms. Let it call equation 1. Now let's rewriting the terms in reverse order then we will get s equal to this on adding 1 and 2 term wise like first term of equation 1 in first term of equation 2 and so on. Then we will get every time 2a plus n minus 1 d that's why 2s equal to n times 2a plus n minus 1 d therefore s equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 d. So this is our formula for calculating sum of first n terms of AP. So we know A and D then we can calculate by this formula easily. Like in above example A is 100, D is 50, N is 12. 
on putting these values in below formula we get sum equal to 4500 we also know that na term or last term is equal to a plus n minus 1d so we can calculate right as equal to n by 2 a plus l where l is the na term of the ap let's it's easy to calculate by this formula when last term is given